It's a big day for Pramwat Pranarin. He's come to collect a new car for the first time in his life. He's one of more than a million buyers who've taken advantage of the government's incentive scheme. It's proved so popular, he's had to wait six months for delivery. As a modestly paid office worker, he said he couldn't have afforded it without the 20% tax refund. The scheme has been good news too for dealer Kyat Tang Trongsakdi. The first car rebate applied only to small Thailand-made cars and trucks. And Honda happens to manufacture one of the most appealing models that meets the criteria. So it was a good scheme for you? Oh yes, definitely. It's installing the confidence to the manufacturer, part supplier, to the dealer, to the employee of the dealer, to the customer. Following the severe floods in Thailand two years ago, the first car scheme has given a useful boost to the big Japanese manufacturers here. Honda's main assembly line was shut down for six months. But for the past year, they've been working shifts around the clock to keep up with the surge in demand. There's no shortage of critics, though, who question the scheme's real value. One of the significant impact of the scheme is on the level of household debt. Household debt has jumped from about 55% of GDP uh, when this government came into power to current levels of close to 80%. And what we're finding is that car production this year is being ratcheted down simply because the first car scheme took up at least a couple of years of demand from the industry. It's been the constant claim of Mr. Taxon's various parties that they're the true champions of the poor. But really, what have people who can't afford new cars, even with a government refund, or who depend on public transport, got out of this multi-billion dollar giveaway? More congestion and more pollution. Just ask the traffic police, whose unenviable job it is to manage Bangkok's notorious rush hour. The first car scheme may have been popular with those who bought them, but at least half a million of those new cars have ended up here on the streets of the capital, something it really didn't need. Jonathan Head, BBC News, Bangkok.